Hey everyone, Nathan here. Today we're going to check out what's new in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay, so we are currently at version 1.18.42. Um, so a couple of things have changed. We'll go over some of the things that happened with 1.8 or some of the significant ones. And I want to start off with the difference in height. So really important, especially depending on what you like to build or whether you're working in different biomes because that's really changed things up a lot. So if we have a look here, I'm actually sitting at block 33 on the Y. So we've increased, or Minecraft have increased that height distance. So now we can go a lot higher than what we used to be able to. And for, I guess, people or build people who <laughs> like to put things up in the sky, so kind of, you know, you teleport somewhere else and we don't know where that location is, it's kind of nice when it's up nice and high, up out of the way, instead of kind of having to hide it somewhere else. So. This has become really useful. And my tip is always, you know, go up to the highest point. So build up to that highest point, put that block at the highest point and then build down. Cause that's, I guess, if you wanted to build a room up here, that might be your roof. So we're nearly here, we're nearly at the top. And so we can now reach up to 320 blocks from the zero. The actual total height is higher than that because we haven't included the negative either. So that's our total height and you can really see from up here, you know, this is like an empty world essentially. So I won't have any terrain happening, but even the clouds become quite difficult to see from this height now. So it's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty good height. If we, if we jump off and we have a look, we'll, we'll drop back down and we'll go down to the lowest point. So 320 is our new high point, And then we have a new low point of negative 64 so from the zero so wherever my zero y coordinate is which is kind of like your dead center i can now drop all the way down here to um down as far as and this is kind of blocking it because i couldn't obviously put the blocks underneath it but if i was to look at this block down here this is negative 64 so you can now build all the way down from negative 64 all the way up to 320 so there's a bit of an increase there in that space Let's jump back up. Let's have a look what has also changed. What we're gonna look at next is mobs. So, or not mobs, sorry, NPCs. So NPCs, um, something that I've heard or has already happened coming into Bedrock, I believe, but very much a big part of the education edition software. And there's already quite a lot of skins in there, but we've just added a heap more. So I've kind of laid them out here for us. We have the one of our first grouping are the kiosk um, characters. I actually kind of really like these, especially this one here in the middle, the little guy. I think it's pretty cool. I've been using it a bit for some of my instruction type stuff. You know, you just go kind of talk to the little bot as well. We did already have like a robot in there, but this is kind of added a bit more to that. And even this one, this one's nice and clear because it's like that eye, that information, which is cool. <coughs> This is probably the biggest pack that's come in is the new agricultural pack. And it's a little bit of a mix. It's a mix of different cultures and kind of some fantasy stuff going on as well. So we can kind of see three distinct cultures there, but then I kind of have this scarecrow. It looks like quite a Halloween style scarecrow. We mix up cultures again, and then we have a cow. Um, and then we can see we've got three more cultures um, being represented. So this nice new mix, but it's, it is the biggest grouping that's come in in this new update. The next group of skins that we have are the business mobs skin pack. So five new ones in here. They're basically just five mobs that are dressed up in business attire. So, you know, their suit or their very smart clothing, even the fish has a hat on. So those ones are new as well bit of fun as well, I guess. And the last group we have are just then the everyday business skin pack. So I'm not really sure what this one is. I'm still, it doesn't have an arm. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like that's a helmet or something. The rest of them are pretty kind of easy to kind of put some sort of connotation next to. 
But that one's just like got me, I don't know, stumped. I don't know what's going on with that. It's meant to be everyday business. But they are, as you can see, a heap of new skins that have been added to the world of NPCs in version 1.1. 8.42 now the other thing that's changed which is kind of hard to show because it's more of a technical thing sitting in the background is that was, there were improvements made and actually if we just scroll down a little bit we can see that there was improvements made to the joining experience for multiplayer now when this came out it kind of came with a whole list of issues that people were having um, this one for us was the main sticking point to the allowed um, URL list. There were some um, additional URLs that needed to be whitelisted in regards to getting people to join a world. But we can see here only just a couple of days ago this um, has been updated. So this update here on the 25th um, of the 10th, it was a bit of a hot fix. There's something that has happened in regards to the new multiplayer improvements. Um, have something happening there in that proxy support. Um, we just think, you know, things, things to be, seem to be going pretty good for us. This one was a big one as well. The in-game library, there was a, um, there was a specific URL there that needed to be whitelisted and, um, you couldn't get things out of the library or load up worlds in the library. So it seems to be a bit of a, a bug fix that's popped in, in there. And we're seeing pretty good results so far, um, happening across schools. So the other thing we're also aware of is that in this version, we have a little bit more happening in regards to terrain blending. So we've got this kind of blend pattern happening. We can see that the two terrains kind of blend together here. It used to be a bit more of a hard line blend, but we can kind of see some trees that belong in the savannah uh, do actually kind of cross over into the forest, which is cool, it just makes it a little bit more authentic. The other one is, and I had it here somewhere, and just to, you know, I have night vision turned on for the purposes to show this, is there's that significant increase in the size of caves. So normally they're not this light, they're not this bright. They'd be much darker going in here normally. But if we have a look around, kind of just the cavity of the spaces has gotten significantly larger than they used to be. So they you know, for build wise, they become uh, a lot more workable in regards to how we want to use them. So the other thing we've seen added in this edition is these new dripstone caves. Again, I've got my night vision on here, so it's making it incredibly easier to see. But in these large cavities, we're seeing these pop up as part of it. And obviously, these dripstone elements are forming part of the inventory now as well. And so the last one we're going to look at are lush caves. They've been added to this edition and I'm not going to lie to you, they are tricky to find. If I had kept the camera rolling for how long it took me to find this cave, um, it let's, let's just say it's a significant proportion of my life I don't feel like I'm going to get back, but that's okay. Um, they're pretty cool once you find them and they can just go forever and ever and ever. This one I've kind of already explored a bit and you kind of like slip through a crack somewhere else and it just opens up and gets wider and wider and wider, but they are pretty cool. And obviously then um, all of the inventory that makes up a lush cave is forming into um, our in-game inventory as well. But apart from some other, you know, uh, little updates that are happening around like kind of water cavern caves and stuff like that They are our updates on what is going on right now in Minecraft Education Edition I hope you're having fun using it and we will see you again soon Cheers <laughs>